in today's Q&A session with a great question regarding task automation. This is a more advanced question and also the answer will be a little bit advanced. I hope you will enjoy this session. I've got a question. Sure, go ahead. I think it's an, an easy one for you. Um, on tasks, uh, you can create repeats. And so if I want a task to repeat weekly, mm -hmm. um, it's no problem. But the only thing is it creates all the, the weekly tasks ahead of time. So not like Outlook tasks where the next task is only created when you close it. Then the next task is created. Is there any way that you can have the task, the next task create only when the current one is completed? Yeah. So you can create a small workflow for the tasks. Okay, so basically whenever, uh, yeah. So whenever the status is changing, right? Yeah. And we are checking if the status is completed. But also in this case, I would like to see, because you don't want to do it for every task. You want it for specific tasks. Specific task, yeah. So usually the task will have a name. So it will be, let's say, create a new profile or create a new post okay so if that it's completed and the subject is create a new post then we're going to task we're saying create a new post will take place now you can assign it to specific people if you want and then save and associate. Now, if we go to the task, we have a new task name, create a new post, whatever it is today, that's fine. And now when I click on close task and mark it as completed, Okay, now if I will look at my tasks, you will see um, let's go to all tasks. So you have one that is completed, that the one that I completed right now, and there is one that was created right now. Make sense? Okay, so if you like, for example, like in Outlook where you have a task and you close the task, but it must repeat every first Wednesday of each month. So if you close this task, you can set the in the workflow the task for a time period, 30 days time, or but I don't think you can set it like a calendar time, uh, one month from now or one week from now, or can you do this in the yeah. workflow? You can, not with the workflow but you can go to the schedules because you, you know Deluge. Yeah. You can create a schedule and that will be create task ABC or let's say create task, create a new post. And then you create a function. Okay, and you will have your script to create a new task, which you already know how to do that. Yeah. And now you have the execution that will be on the 31st. Let's say 31st, 2 a.m. And that will repeat every month. Okay, so you could do every week, every day, every month, every two weeks. 
Yeah, so it'd be the same functionality as on a normal task you can do. That's right, but that's so if you wanted it every if you wanted it every two weeks. If you want to do it every two weeks, you will have every. Uh, let's see. So not a custom option. Are oh, they custom? Yeah, we got a custom there. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So I would just create new record, which would be the task. I put the parameters I need, and that's it. That's right. So this is how you can create tasks uh, with the workflows or tasks with the schedules. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. I think I have to do it with the, sh the, sh the schedules to get the, um, if it's like every two weeks or something like that, because I think on the workflow, I don't think you can do it like that. With the workflow, you can do X amount of time after or before some kind of a date field. Yeah, so that's gonna be, yeah, it's not gonna, like in February, we have 28 days, so if you do every 30 days, it's not going to be at the beginning of each month then. So I don't think you have that option in on the workflow to do it for a set time, eh? No, it will be X amount of time from something. Yeah, so the schedule would be the right way to do this then. You can do it like that or one more option. Um, you can do it without a scheduler for for people that don't know Deluge. So I would create a new module, and I will call it, let's say, schedules. And here I will have some kind of a date field. And that will be uh, start date. So I will have here the name will be create a new post and that can be used for multiple schedulers the start date will be the 31st right let's go to let's do it on the first so it will be you know because i don't know if it will skip if it, the month is 30 or 29 so let's make it august 1st and now i will run a workflow that will run on <clears throat> on the scheduler so basically every time that we have the start date okay on the start date it will do it every month make sense that makes sense okay so now every first it will run it yeah and that will be if the name is create a new post and yeah. you can create multiple schedulers right and now you create a task yeah so th with that option th i think the schedule and deluge will still be the best because on that one you can't do the weekly option you can. So you, can. you have here every. Yeah, you don't have week. Yes, yeah. you need every two weeks. That's a deluge thing for people that don't know. Yeah, so I've got a, I've got a couple of tasks, and some of them need to be done once a month, some of it twice a month, some of it once every three months. And so they, they vary. So I think the shed uh, with Deluge is going to be the most flexible to do exactly um, the task I want. Otherwise, I've got to live, live with the task, creating hundreds of these things ahead of time. 
uh, which doesn't make sense. Yep. Okay. Now I think, uh, yeah, that's been a great help. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.